In this example, we're going to talk about this function called restart, which happens when you press both the key start and the key stop buttons simultaneously. Okay, restart. So how does that work exactly? You can have a style or a rhythm playing as such. And sometimes maybe you have a vocalist or a singer who may not be keeping in time with you, okay? Or you have a particular kind of music where you want to use a 4-4 four, four beat to play, say, a 3-4 pattern, as I'm about to illustrate in this example. And what the restart does is it always takes you back to the first beat. So, for a keyboard player, to be able to play and trigger that at the same time is a very, very daunting task. And so what I have with me, as you look at my feet, is the FS6 pedal. And what I've done is I've gone on to the machine and programmed pedal number six to act as the restart. And that's very simple. All you do is you go into menu and you go into foot switches. As you can see on the screen over here, my screen is now showing you the foot switch. And number six is programmed for restart and count in, okay? So you can see that over there on the screen. And to program the switches is very simple. Let's say you want to program number one for start, stop. You just touch number one, and it will display that at the center of the screen, and you can have it to be a sustain, sosterno, soft start, arranger A, B. I can assign it to anything. So I'm gonna turn the wheel, I'm gonna look for start, stop over there, start, stop. And right now, switch number one is programmed for start, stop. So if I press switch number one like this, it starts, and again, it stops, okay? What that does pretty much is it frees up my hands so I can play without having to reach out and press all these functions. I can program over 89, sorry, over 109 functions with the first switch pedal. You just pick a switch, scroll through the different parameters and assign it to whatever you want it to be. You can also program four sets of switches, okay? If I go back to the screen, the screen right there, you can see set one, set two, set three, and set four. So I can have in set one up to 13 different functions, in set two, another 13, in set three, and so on and so forth, okay? So without much ado, let's go back into the demonstration on how to use the restart. So the start stop gives me a start stop function, like you press in the start stop on the panel itself. And the restart is what I'm about to demonstrate right now. So this is what I would do. And there you have it. So I was actually demonstrating both the start stop, which is over there, and the restart feature for that particular purpose. Again, sometimes you have to be very careful as to when exactly you press the pedal. You may have to press the pedal a little bit, um, a couple of nanoseconds ahead, just for the machine to know that you want it to stop at a particular point. But that is how that feature works. Now, if you have a vocalist who cannot keep to time, that feature is also very, very useful to chase him or her around as you perform your music. <laughs>